<笑>お前ら二人揃って随分と時代がかかってんなやっと見覚えのある顔や頭の泡乗ってもんだ。かぐらいは知ってたろ。ああ。お前ほどの男が今は道島組長の玉置きか。お前の目的は女の復讐か。そのためだけにたった一人で。同時な組をここまで攻め込んでくるとはな賢く生きるつもりはさらさらねえらしい極道がこざかしく生きる方がよっぽど恐ろしいわ今は世の中金が支配する時代だその時代が求める極道の姿ってのがあんだ生き方の
quote unquote helping you out. And then after you beat up Iwano, then Sagawa turns on you and is like, alright, well we don't need you anymore. I think it'd I mean, be pretty interesting. Yeah. I I think that could work too. Since you give a change of pace, because like Majima's never Well, I shouldn't say never, but you don't really see him with other people. Like fight with other people. Right. Also, Albano actually has like super fucking or super fucking ripped. Like look at that fucking crack he made in this, the brick. Yeah, and it's not just like one of the bricks, it's at least twelve of them. Yeah. One. So like, he, here I thought so Kuze you, was supposed so to be the, the muscle. So you know he may have just about chipped the nail. <laughs> yeah, here I thought Kuze was supposed to be the muscle. But no, it's Iwano. It's the man who self-addressed himself as, I'm totally out of shape, and my, even my tattoo is fading to hell. Yeah, like, you just totally don't expect it. Very good pause. <laughs> Just want a spicy knife here. <laughs> if I bring up the menu and it doesn't sound like I'm getting hit, I'm not getting hit. そない馬鹿正直に生きてきたわけやない。せやけどな。俺の周りにはバカに生きて。馬鹿に死んでった男たちがおった。そいつらのくだらん生き方が俺は男の最高の生き様やと気がついた。
面倒ばかりだ堂島宗平そこにいる男は体力で一番金がかかる殺し屋だそいつに仕事を受けさせるルートと金がある限り俺は誰だろうが好きにやれる力ってのはこういうもんだお前らだけはもう何があっても死んでもらわな収まらんのやせやないとあの子は黒い闇から逃れられんラオグエイ油断するなよ<笑>地獄の底まで引きずり込んだるわどうじめしかし。And the guy over here is using thug style. What? I don't actually like using a, a legend style for、uh, any boss fight except for one very specific one. I feel like you're doing this as a challenge to yourself. That may also have been the case. You're like, yeah, I can use Slugger. But I hate Legend style, so. Uh, when you knock down maybe like a light bar and a half, he'll change phases. So instead of the, the Vega Claws, he's got a, a scimitar now? It's a Chinese long sword, it looks like. Oh, and he's also got a gun. Yeah, and、uh, obviously he was able to pull these out of nowhere. No space. Actually, I think the, uh, the, the fast combo from Thug Style is why I insist on this for this, using it for this fight.、Mm. When you can actually do it, it's really good. God, I, said,、uh, I hate playing against a Cervantes, I just like being Cervantes. <laughs> Yeah, he basically is Cervantes, huh? Last phase, I think he's just straight hand to hand now. I don't know how he missed me there. Honestly, I think Laogui as a fight gets. Easier the further in you get, just because he gets less obnoxious about being、uh, able to stun you. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, anytime a character loses their gun, they, they become easier. Yeah, like the Vega Claws were really irritating to deal with, but then he swapped out for a 
the scimitar and a gun, which is a lot easier to, to manage. And then he lost both of those. キリュウカズマかなるほど風間の頭が見込んだわけだなもっと早くお前の存在に気づくべきだったよただの若造がいつの間にか竜に化ける一歩手前だそんな話はいい女を話せ女をしまするのはお前を殺してからだそれで風間の息の根が完全に止まることになるセラの野郎は後でじっくり料理すりゃいい今俺がやらなきゃいけねえのはお前だ風間の極道を継ぐお前をこの手でしまする俺が欲し
風間は別格の極道だ俺には別格と呼ばれるほど看板はねえさだがてっぺん取るためにそれが必要ってんならてめえで作るだけのことだおめえはそうやって何でもかんでも計算づくか男の看板ってのは自分で設計図引いて作るようなもんじゃねえ後から勝手についてくるもんだ何とでも言えこれは俺なりの努力ってやつさその努力が女を打つことか立花や織田を殺すことかてめえの看板が欲しいなら他人の血で書くんじゃねえお前も風間の看板に憧れて極道の世界に入ったんだろだが風間も昔は登場界のヒットマンとして何人もやってきたそれこそ伝説になっちまうほどの人数をだお前が思ってるほど真っ当な男じゃねえ空の一つぼにしても最初は道島組のお家騒動だったそいつに何人もの肩着を巻き込んで死なせたのは結局んとこ道島の親父に弓引いた風間じゃねえか何が言いてあの風間の頭ならいずれ女や立花が危険にさらされることも想定できたはずだつまりあの人だっててめえの解体を完成させるために立花たちの犠牲を割り切って使ったんだよ他人の血をてめえの道具に使うのは極道の坂だだから俺もお前の血を看板に使わせてもらう優勝ってんのはおめえだけじゃねえんだよお前を殺し風間を越えて俺ら道島の竜になる俺はそんな肩書きはいらねえだが竜は一匹でいいああお前の言う通りだ付き合ってやるぜそのくだらねえ戦いに So now it's time for the、uh, final boss, Jibusawa, who I think has five life bars. Can we throw him off the boat? No. Damn. So, Jibusawa can be kind of tricky.、Uh, he actually, just like Kiryu, has、uh, three, three styles that, that are basically analogous to Kiryu's main three styles.、Uh, I believe he starts off. With rush style, just based on the color.、Ooh. Get it together,、uh, Kiryu. Jesus. Maybe in hindsight, I should have also used rush style, but. It's too fast. Yeah, I don't think rush style would have given me enough power. Or maybe I'm saying fuck it anyway. <laughs> I feel like you keep building yourself up, like, oh no, I don't use, I'm not gonna use that style. <laughs> 20 seconds later, and then you use that style. Look, it's been a while since I,、uh, I, I edited this footage.
Here's his beast style. The only way this could be any better is if somehow Red Brown was made to be in this scene. I think the beast style section of the fight is probably the easiest. I'm the Dragon Slayer of Toichima. And lastly, here's his, uh... I suppose this is supposed to be his Brawler style, but the Red Aura makes me think it's more of a Legend style. Ooh. I almost missed all the furniture from downstairs. And suddenly it's become barren. But yeah, you kind of kind of want to be careful uh, with this last segment. Well, yeah, you don't want them to get inside your guard. If anything, MMA is taught that should have taught you is that it's terrible. The uh, the double follow up you can do in uh, uh, Legend style. Probably not the best, uh, best move. Just cause he will basically take any opening he gets. Mm. As long as you can get some good heat actions in, he shouldn't be too bad. Emphasis on shouldn't. <laughs> Also, I just really appreciate how basically every game in the series has to end on a shirtless brawl. I thought you were going to say I'm thankful that I can still grab his collar despite him being shirtless. That too. <laughs> also that you can just kind of keep doing this. He deserved it.
越えちゃならねえその一線越えちまったら戻ってこられなくなるこいつ殺したとこで何にもならねえだろうがお前勝手に先は死んじゃねえよ<笑>兄弟踏みとどまれいつか最後の一戦を越えなきゃならねえ時が来たらそん時は俺も一緒に越えてやるだから錦。そいつらを殺すのかマジマ当たり前やこいつらがおる限りあの子はいつまでも狙われるんや全部しまいにするにはここで殺すしかないやるや<笑>殺すんや俺がこいつらをまことの代わりに彼女がそれを知ったら苦しむだろうな何感謝するかもしれん謝るかもしれんだがいずれ彼女は必ず苦しむ佐江島大河が18人殺した罪を背負った時のお前と同じ苦しみを味わうことになる彼女は自分の手がきれいなままなのはお前が代わりに手を汚したおかげだとはそう気づく自分のために人殺しになった者へ償う方法はこの世にないお前はあの娘に償いきれない菓子を作る気か<笑>こんなクソボケが<笑>せやったら俺はどないしたらいいやこいつら殺してもあの子を救うことにならん言うんやったらどないせっちゅんじゃもう終わったんだマジマ<笑>牧村誠は意識を取り戻した今風間組の柏木たちが病院に移送してる誠が意識をな何言ってる女が生きているのかバカなそれじゃあ殻の一粒はあの土地はどうなった道島さん空の一粒はもう彼女の手を離れましたうちが新しい土地の所有者です一千億も出してもらえりゃあなたに売っても構いませんがね何道島組の時代は終わったってことです<笑>カムロ町再開発の莫大な利権は空の一つを持つ人間にしか動かせんこれで堂島組一強だった登場会の勢力図は大きく書き換わるくだらん話はええあんたは俺にこいつらを殺すな言うんか<笑>その殺し屋は堂島の命令で何人も殺してきた堂島の急所を逃げる生き証人だ警察にもその情報は流しておいたそしたら
殺に突き出すだけで済ませろっちゅうんか俺はそこまで甘くはないその殺し屋の身柄は日教連で隠し持つ登場界最強と言われる堂島組をこの俺が裏から操る切り札としてなそれにその殺し屋はここで楽に殺すより<笑>死ぬまで例の穴蔵にでも閉じ込める方がいいだろう<笑>よくこらえたな真島牧村誠にとって堂島組はもう脅威じゃないお前が彼女を救った余裕はあんたも俺を栄養に利用したっちゅうわけか島野の親父と同じようにここに来たらたまたまお前が一人で堂島組を潰してたってことだ俺にそんなこと想像できるわけがない<笑>真島まだ片付いてないことがあるお前の親父島野に一つ伝言を頼めるかお前がやつに登場界を裏切ったけじめをつけさせろ何やと<笑>